Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and stay tuned by clicking the bell icon. Coronation Street icon Julie Goodyear is seen in public for the first time since her dementia diagnosis. Coronation Street icon Julie Goodyear has been pictured in public for the first time since her dementia diagnosis. The actress, 81, who announced the news back in June, is famed for playing Leopard Print Loving Rover's return landlady, Bette Lynch in the ITV soap for over 25 years, starting in the role in 1966. Her beloved husband Scott Brand, 55, announced the news on her behalf on social media, revealing that they had come to terms with a heartbreaking diagnosis. This week Julie took part in the Alzheimer Society's Memory Walks fundraiser in Heaton Park in Manchester and was pictured for the first time since her health news. She was joined by thousands of other walkers all dressed in light blue t-shirts and was pictured beaming from her wheelchair for the charity's flagship fundraiser. Meanwhile, Scott gave an update on her condition, revealing that they are trying to create more memories together in the wake of her diagnosis. He told The Sun, Julie is now living with Alzheimer's, not suffering with it, and that's a big difference. Calling these events memory walks is most appropriate, of course, Memory is one of the things most affected by this cruel disease, but Julie and I are also trying to make more memories together. Taking part in this walk was a wonderful new memory for us to share. Kate Lee, chief executive at Alzheimer's Society, said, Our thoughts are with Julie Goodyear and her family following the announcement that she's living with dementia. Sharing such personal news publicly raises much-needed awareness of dementia, and we are extremely grateful to Julie for this. One in three people born in the UK today will develop dementia in their lifetime and Alzheimer's Society is here to offer support via our website alzheimers.org.uk and helpline on 333150-3456. Scott previously released a statement to announce the news, writing, My darling wife and I have had to come to terms with this heartbreaking diagnosis. Unfortunately, July has been suffering forgetfulness for some time and we have been seeking medical advice and assistance. But we now know that there is no hope of a reversal in the situation and that her condition will get progressively and perhaps speedily worse. We have taken the decision to publicly announce the diagnosis as Julie still loves visiting friends and eating out. Inevitably she is recognized and fans love to meet her and she them, but she can get confused particularly if she is tired. I hope people will understand. Julie remains a patron of Willowwood Hospice in Greater Manchester and has said she wishes to highlight the wonderful work of the hospices who do so much to support patients and families with dementia. In December 2020, Julie paid tribute to fellow soap actress, EastEnders star Dame Barbara Windsor, who died following her own battle with Alzheimer's disease, aged 83. She wrote on Facebook, Last night was so devastating for everyone in the industry who was ever lucky enough to meet Barbara let alone work alongside her. She was a national treasure. That word is thrown around too casually nowadays. But with Barbara it was well and truly meant. Thoughts are with her family and friends. From one former landlady to another, I raise a glass to the one and only and truly irreplaceable Barbara Windsor. The latch you gave over the years and the stellar performance you executed week in week out in your pub in the East End of London lives on. Meanwhile, July has been very open with her life and appeared on Piers Morgan's Life Stories back in 2013. She revealed that her husband Scott proposed to her every day for 11 years before she accepted him. She said, I might renew his contract. He's been the best of a bad bunch. He really has. Asked if she was happily married, she responded. Very. Asking about her sexuality, the chat show host said, You've had relationships with men and women. Miss Goodyear replied, a relationship can be a friendship, a soulmate, whatever. You don't have to have sex there are many gay people who work in the industry we work in. Have you no gay friends? What's it like having sex with them? When Piers responded that he didn't, Miss Goodyear continued, Neither do I, let me tell you. There was a time when I thought it might be worth a try. No good at it, because I can't stop laughing. What he fired back, are we talking men or women? She responded, anybody, which is why they only ever gave me one bed scene in Coronation Street, because it makes me laugh. Sex does? asked Morgan. Even being in bed, she replied. The actress wed her first husband, Drotsman Ray Sutcliffe, in 1960. The pair had a son, Gary, when she was 17, 
but the marriage ended three years later when her husband walked out. In 1973, she married secretary Tony Rudman, but the couple had been married for only a few hours when he ran off with the best man. The heartbreak left her so distraught she spent a month in a mental health clinic. In 1979, she was diagnosed with cervical cancer and given just one year to live. She was then married to airline executive Richard Scrobb between 1985 and 1987. The actress with Mr. Brand in 2007. They first met in 1996 when he delivered plaster to a house she was renovating. The larger-than-life star first joined the ITV soap in 1966 as barmaid Bet, but left after being advised by senior cast member Pat Phoenix, who played Elsie Tanner, to get some more acting training. After joining Oldham's Repertory Theatre, Julie returned in 1970 and was a permanent fixture on the cobbles for 25 years until she left in 1995 when 22 million viewers tuned in to watch her last episode. Julie made three returns as Bette, firstly in 1999 for the home video spin-off The Rover Returns, and then again in 2002, and in 2003 for scenes shot in Blackpool as part of a storyline focusing on Liz McDonald, Beverly Callard, and her husband Jim, Charles Lawson, who had recently escaped from prison. In 2012, she appeared on Celebrity Big Brother alongside the likes of Julian Clary, M.C. Harvey, Martin Kemp and Colleen Nolan, and came in seventh place. Dementia UK CEO and Chief Admiral Nurse Hilda Hayo said, We're sorry to hear that Julie Goodyear has been diagnosed with dementia and hope that she and her family are receiving the support and assistance they need at this time. By choosing to speak publicly about her diagnosis, Julie and her family will raise vital awareness of dementia and we hope that this will encourage others to seek advice if they have concerns for their brain health. We urge families affected by dementia to reach out to our specialist helpline, staffed by dementia specialist Admiral Nurses. Our helpline offers support and guidance on all stages of dementia, including grieving for a loved one. Anyone affected by dementia can contact the helpline by calling 0800-888-6678 or emailing helpline at dementia.org. Hilary Evans, Chief Executive of Alzheimer's Research UK, said, Our hearts go out to Julie Goodyear and her family, following the announcement that she is living with dementia. So many of us have such fond memories of watching Julie on screen, playing the iconic role of Bette Lynch. It is incredibly brave of Julie's husband to share this news and help raise much-needed awareness of dementia, a condition affecting almost one million people in the UK today. With no treatments to slow or stop the diseases that cause dementia, a diagnosis is truly heartbreaking. Tragically, many more families like Julie's will go on to experience the devastation it causes because, if nothing changes, one in two people will be directly affected by dementia. They will either develop the condition themselves, care for someone with it, or both. As the UK's leading dementia research charity, we have vowed to put a stop to dementia by finding a cure. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and share.